Today, I'm gonna to show you that clamping your arms into your body is hurting your golf swing. For many of you, this is not what you need to be doing at all. I'm gonna show you why, and I'm gonna show you what you need to do instead so you can try it and go, ah, that gives me more freedom, that gives me better golf shots. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Alex Forte, and this is the Art of Simple Golf. Uh, a lesson I was doing today covered this very thing, so I wanted to share this with you, all right? It's not gonna be a long video, but I'm just gonna go into the basic essentials. Now, you might have seen, heard, been told, been doing it, that when you make your swing, you have to keep your upper arms completely clamped to your body, and then you turn, okay? All you need to do is turn. Why doesn't that work? It worked for Ben Hogan. It's a huge stack and tilt kind of concept. And I'm not completely bagging it. I just want you to consider to see if the swing that I'm going to try and demonstrate is a little bit similar to yours. And I want you to at least be open to trying something else. Because with golf, I talk about this a lot, is it's a sort of fine line, right? And we might go one way which meaning that your arms were sort of too out and loose here. So you think, okay, I've got to get them a bit more connected and go back behind myself. So we were here and we get ourselves onto here. But what happens over time is we get, you're still trying to get that feel. So you just go further round and round and stuck. And the swing might look something like. Okay, tight, narrow, forced because I'm trying to stay connected. Ta-da! Maybe you've used this, okay? Where you've got to try and stay connected and keep the towel in place. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't actually that bad a thing and it's very useful because we can get ourselves working, uh, you know, a bit more rotational and a, a little bit more connected. It's great to a degree, you know? But what happens is people are too tight, okay? They resist the lower body they try and make bigger turns. The hands go too deep this way and it will look something like this, All right? Yeah, okay, why is that a bad thing? Well, it goes more and more and more and more and more. It gets more cramped, it gets more tight and you eventually start losing it because there's one key misunderstanding with it. The key misunderstanding is that all we need to do is sort of rotate and turn and keep the arms locked in and dead. But let, just humor me, all right? Get out of your chair right now, get out. You don't even need a club, all right? You don't even need a club. Get out your chair, all right? Let the hands hang loose. You can sort of formulate a grip if you want. Now, I want you to do, and be very honest, be brutally honest with yourself, I want you to stand here and I want you to just turn your shoulders like you think you're told to. Almost feel like the arms are completely dead. You're not trying to do anything with them. Just turn the shoulders, all right? That's where the hands would go if you didn't, if you just sort of kept them clamped. It would just be here, all right? Now that isn't very useful for these because if we actually did it, where the arms are sort of just hanging and I'm just turning, it's gonna look something like that. The shot, hopefully, would be a bit better than that for you. But do you know what I mean? Like, the arms have to lift. The arms have to lift in the backswing. They have to do this because that's what you would naturally do. If you were to throw a ball, you wouldn't throw it like a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, okay? You wouldn't be here trying to, to, to throw something like that. You would have leverage, you'd have width. The arm would swing on its upward plane, okay? The arms aren't really designed to go side to side here. You see, it looks like they're going side to side, but really they're still in their shoulder socket. They're only really designed to go this way like on the lateral and this way. They're not designed to sort of go like this way too much, especially across the chest. So the arms very naturally will and should swing 
up a little bit, they're going to raise. So in the swing, you have to allow that to happen even just a little bit. And you can start working this into your swing by doing this. So all you need to start doing is as you make your regular swing, as you sort of get back to the halfway point, I want you to feel like you're allowing your arm just to sort of lift up and straighten a little bit, okay? So we get to here and that's it. So we do our half swing, we gather, we elevate, we create a bit of distance, and then we have all the time in the world to swing through. And we're lifting it up. It's creating a little bit of separation, but it's not a huge amount of separation. We're not sort of getting to here and lifting all the way up. I'm still got the very, very upper like armpits kind of touching, but I'm not allowing the hands to cross the chest. I'm turning the, the winding up the core here. And then, so it's like from the halfway position, I've got pretty much a full shoulder turn. And then from here, I'm just allowing those arms to elevate. And that's how I'm completing a fuller swing. The wrists have suppleness. I add transition and we make our way back down. So it might start to feel that the swing has two components to it. One being, you know, sort of turning around here, getting that sh sort of shoulder turn and that wind up to about here. And then the arms are just going to elevate a little bit. And from here, they move down and then back into that rotation, rotation feel. We don't necessarily want the arm, this, the whole body to just keep turning and turning what you're told to do because we end up something like this, all right? Or we end up something like this. We don't want that, just turn and elevate. And it might feel the key with this elbow. You start to feel that as you get to this sort of halfway back, you're allowing this elbow to point a little bit further down. And see, I'm getting a little bit of space from here. There's a little bit of distance creation from this point. I'm still very much connected because I've been connected to all this point. All I'm doing is adding a little bit of extra leverage to gather the momentum. That's it. I'm not having to turn more. I'm not having to get a big rotation. It's wind up, elevate, down. It's really simple. And the feel can be, you know, a drill you can do is put the left hand under the, the right tricep, if you're right-handed, of course. So and make your rotation back, let it wind up, then just elevate the hands. And look, just by a couple of inches, you've got a very full golf swing. From here, turn, elevate. Very full golf swing that we reverse the movement and you're good to go. So what we do is we practice that. We wind up, elevate, and then reverse back down, okay? Rotate, elevate, and down. Easy peasy. Get a bit more width if you want. Practice it. I was showing that mildly there. You can perhaps try and exaggerate it to begin with, okay? There's actually a drill you can do, which is elevate the arms, then turn. So that will give you where your arms should be, but we're elevating them on this sort of movement, slightly on an angle, and then we make our wind up, basically. So we can go like this, wind up, and swing. All right, easy swings, very simple. Now, that's it. Let me know if you're a culprit. Let me know if you're gonna give this a try and give a bit more freedom into your backswing and see the results. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.